you had a good start, lots of territory and possession, but was it the fact you couldn't turn that into points early on, the major issue? Oh, look, first and foremost, I thought it was a great game and advert for the Gallagher Premiership, both sides trying to play. In a nutshell, the first half we dominated possession. We had some really good positions held up, knock-ons close to the line, and ultimately the, the margins are very small at this level, and we didn't take our chances, and the ones that Quids had, they did. And uh, that, that's the frustrating thing, that we have to be more accountable around our errors. Uh, this is the fourth game it's happened. Um, I don't, well, congratulations to Quinns on the win, but it's not a 40 points to 12 scoreline in, in a sense, but it is because we didn't take our chances and they took theirs. And was that inaccuracy on your part or the, or the pressure that Harlequins were able to place upon you? Uh, I'd say mostly our part. When you look at, I thought our breakdown was outstanding. Um, our intention to move the ball was excellent. With just too many passes, knock-ons, uh, and unforced errors, and ultimately against a team like Quinns, they, they will punish you. And uh, our, str our scrum struggled first half, which allowed them into into the game when they didn't really have much possession. Positive second half, managed to pick up some points, managed to get a little bit of purchase from the scrum, which resulted in that penalty try. Yeah, look, Lolo came on. He's an outstanding, uh, experienced tight head. Made a difference, uh, and the same around uh, Matteo showed some magical moments, and they'll, they'll make a huge difference coming back into the group. We've got to lick our wounds and the, the biggest test of all is coming into town next week. So, as I said to the players, if you can't be excited about playing a team like Saracens who are the current champions, then why are you here, in a sense? Well, you've said it for me. How do you approach the champions? Oh, look, we've just got to rip in and be more, uh, more accurate. That's the bottom line. It's, um, we can keep saying it. it's been the same for the first four games. And the one thing I would say, it's the first time, in a sense, we've had whether we can play. And we saw really positive signs, but ultimately we made too many errors. And... This is going to take time, but the bottom line is that we're trying to change a philosophy that's been embedded for years. Uh, we're trying to play a different way, and, and sometimes it doesn't work the way you want, and that was today. Bad luck today. Thanks for talking to us, and good luck against Saris. Thank you very much.